This is a quick tutorial showing how you could take photos and upload them into Google Drive to then share with your students or other people. So once you have uploaded your photos into iPhoto, you can then come to Google Drive and select the Upload button, choose Files. If you have pictures saved in folders somewhere on your in the picture folder on your computer, you can select them here. If not, scroll down to where it says Photos. And this is where you can go in your iPhoto library and select the photos that you want to have imported. So I'm going to press and hold Command and select each one of the pictures that I would like to have uploaded. I've already done this to save time and you can press Open and that will start the process. In the right hand corner you will see um, Google Drive say that they're uploading the photos. When they're all uploaded, you're going to notice that they're not going to necessarily be in your drive, but if you click on where it says More and go to All Items, you will see that here are the images that I chose to upload. I will select these. And I'm then going to create a folder, so this will be easy for me to share all of these photos at once with a group of people. So I'll select the Organize tab, and I want to create a new folder. I'm just going to title this one today Trial. If you were doing something on gingerbread homes, you could select gingerbread houses, title it whatever you want, and then press Create. Now, you've just created the folder, but we still need to move those pictures into that folder, so I'm going to select Move. And now, you'll see that my folder that I created is underneath My Drive. I just want to show you again the arrow next to My Drive, arrow down. Here's the folder I just created, titled Trial. And here are all of the photos that are in that folder. Now if I hover over the folder Trial and click on the arrow down, I get the option of Share. So I'm going to share this. And if you wanted to, you could type each individual email address in. So if you were doing it with a specific student, it would be, it would be their username, first three, first through last three. If I was selecting a student, I could do it that way. If I wanted to share it with a group that I made, for example, first grade teachers, I could share it with them. You would already have to have that group made. If you just want to make it public, right now it's private, you could change that setting to share it with anybody or anyone with a link, and then you could publish that link to your blog so that students could then open it that way. But it would be nice if, they, if you shared it with your students, and that way when they opened and logged into Google Drive, they would have access right from their mind in their My Drive or in all items. That way they would have access to all the photos that you did. Hope this helps.